This is So So Susan from the Stitching Kitchen. Hey, I wanted to let you know how far along I am my little um, avocado project. So I've st stitched on the whole face and now I'm closing it up. And to wait it a little bit, I'm going to be using this, these little beads, these poly pellets. You can get that at Michael's or your local craft store. But look at, I got these a real bargain here at Goodwill for 99 cents. $4.99 at Michael's. So you never know where you can find reasonable craft supplies. But anyways, I put the, put a little, made a little pouch with the pellets. And I used a, a soft uh, bag, a fold over, a lunch bag, not a zip one because I didn't want that. And then I taped it shut with some packing tape. So that's that. So that's what I'm going to put in the bottom. I left a uh, big enough opening here, hopefully, that I can put that in. Oop! Oh no, I guess I poked it. Better repair that with some tape. All right, we're back after that little mishap. I um, guess I didn't leave a big enough opening, and I, I cut the baggie a little bit. So I just put some tape on it. But now you can see what these, these little pellets look like. And they're just plastic. Um, they're, they say that they're better than putting in uh, any kind of peas or beans or anything because, you know, they won't mold or anything. But we wanted to weight it a little bit, so that's what we put in there. Um, and now we're going to stuff it with some, uh, just the polyfill. And that you can get anywhere in a craft drawer too, just so it sticks up there. And pack some of that in there. And if this, I think that will just about do it. So then you want to close that back. So now I'm going to continue with the, the blanket stitch here. This time on the blanket stitch, is you, I'm trying to put these two together. Um, oh, I guess I forgot to tell you. The reason I put even put those pellets, instead of dropping them right into the bag, and um, I decided to put them I mean, right into the felt, is that I wasn't sure about this blanket stitch, how uh, it would hold those little tiny little pellets if they would pop out. So that's why we put them in the, the bag. Um, but my husband suggested that you could, I could have filled up a, uh, a balloon with the pellets and then tied the balloon off and put it in there. And I guess that would have been a fun thing to do too. So whatever you think works. But, um, and remember when you're crafting that you're the designer. So whatever way you want to do it or whatever you think it should look like, that's what you should definitely do because it's your craft. So here we go. So I hope I can get a little closer here. So again, with the blanket stitch, you, the loop is always up. You put your needle in here. I know, for some reason it's awkward for me today. Uh, and pull it through. So put it in and pull it through. And put it in and pull it through. So I'm going to go finish this up with a few more stitches and then I'll show you how I tie it off. And now for the finishing touches. Here we go with the avocado. Uh, so now I blanket stitch all the way around and all I have to do is tie the knot. So I usually go in the back here, bring that up through the hoop again and then uh, through the hoop. And then bring this all the way down. Bring it down through your and pull it out. And then you can cut this off. And you're done.